this is a video that i literally had to drag myself to make and it's about something that catholics actually have to drag themselves to go to and we're in the season of lent and so it will make sense that i'll talk about it now i'm referring to the sacrament of penance and reconciliation simply put going for confession you know confession is that activity where you go to a certain man you barely know and you tell him all the bad things all the sins that you have committed when you could have just remained in your room pray to god and god would have answered your prayers and forgiven your sins in our time confession is hard to go to i mean and this is for a good number of reasons for some of us youth of our time we feel like our sins are so heavy that it would be embarrassing to tell somebody else your sin another reason some people give for not going for confession is the fact that they don't really know what sins they've committed like i've not really committed any big sins so why should i go for confession for some they are just too lazy to go like you know get up go and sit it's like come on that is all stressful it's, they just don't want to do it and some people who would like to justify themselves will give the excuse that confession is not biblical like it is not in the Bible that you can confess to a human being. So what is all this fuzzle, hustle and bustle about going for confession and all that? If not biblical is your argument or your reason, then I think you are actually wrong. Because already from the Old Testament, Leviticus 19, for example, we see that if you commit a sin, you can, the, the high priest or the chief priest, chief priest, the priest is supposed to offer sacrifice on your behalf to God. You come down to the Gospels and you see John 20 verse 23, when Jesus Christ comes and breathes on the apostles and he says, Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit or receive the Holy Spirit. I think so. Whosoever seen you forgive is forgiven. Whosoever seen you retain are retained. That is the power to forgive sins. And they can only forgive sins when they have heard the sins. That is when they can decide on good judgment to retain or to forgive. I think that is not enough. I think James chapter 5 also goes ahead to talk about the fact that confess your sins to one another. So, I think if you say it is not biblical, then there is a problem. You know that in the early times of the church, they actually confessed their sins to one another. I mean, like you stood in front of the congregation and you mentioned your sins for everyone to hear and everyone prays for God's forgiveness for you. But <laughs> I don't think we want to go back to that. I don't know, definitely not. The sacrament of confession has a lot to offer you as a human being and as a Christian as well. And that is why in this video, I would like to give you four reasons why you should go for confession. Or at least four things that confession does for you. In number one, confession gives you the opportunity to acknowledge your sinful ways. You see, the thing is, you, you, you know you're a sinner, all right. But having or getting the opportunity to actually mention your sins, to claim them as yours, to acknowledge you're a sinner has a different feel altogether. It's like telling God that I know I am this, I know I am that, and I'm sorry about it. Now, being aware of your sin, of your sinful state, is a first step in gaining forgiveness because you acknowledge that you know I'm a sinner in need of God's mercy. In number two, confession helps you to grow your relationship with God. When you go for confession, you get to hear Jesus Christ speak to you through the priest. I absolve you of your sins. You get to hear Jesus Christ tell you that He loves you. And about the fact that you know it doesn't matter what you've done what matters is that you have come back to him and as you have come back he is ready to open his arms and accept you confession means that you are ready to walk hand in hand with god thirdly confession cleanses your soul you get to meet god and god forgives you your sins by forgiving your sins your soul is cleansed your iniquity is purged away and frequent confession even makes it better meaning you are always being alert of your of your state and because of that when you go for confession you get to clean yourself frequently and in number four confession helps you to relinquish your guilt now this is not just spiritual it's also psychological having to talk to somebody about your sins you see when you sin you have a burden on you something big something heavy when you talk to somebody about it you talk to the priest about it or you talk to jesus christ to the priest about it you get to share that with somebody you get to lift some of the burden off you and put it down you get to hear somebody speak directly to you you see it's more like now you have come with a lot of guilt and you go without carrying so much burden those who go for confession know this the kind of relief you get from confession it's more like you go heavy you come up you feel so free honestly sometimes you feel like you would never sin again which is 
<laughs> Funny, but it's true. That is how free you become. There are myriads of reasons why you should go for confession, especially in this season of Lent. Don't let anything stop you from receiving that grace from God. Don't let your shyness, your embarrassment, don't let people, don't let you think you know so much. Don't let all those things stop you from encountering the mercy of God in person. <laughs> Somebody just told me that if they brought back the confessional boxes, people would go for confession. Is that true? Well, I think so. At least the embarrassment part will go away. But that notwithstanding, your sins are bigger than your embarrassments. The grace you meet in the confessional is bigger than the embarrassment that you will feel. Don't let anything stop you from meeting Jesus Christ. Nothing. Nothing. So, I will see you in the confessional. Peace.